pillow. And uh, so what? You know you have an O. How? What am I doing? Here? Why am I doing this? Oaks have something buds. No, that, oh. Yeah, they're alternate. But they, <laughs> but, yeah, that's right. But they have clustered buds. Remember, they pile up at the end of the twig. They're alternate, but it's like it's like cars and street traffic. You know, they pile up at the red one, right? Even if they're staggered alternately in the two lanes, then they fall pile up. So they're still literally alternating, but you can't even tell. I mean, you're talking fractions of millimeters. Yeah. So. You know you have an oak because it has clustered buds and it's alternate. And then when you see it has a leaf like that, it's willow oak. So when you're looking for the short, what, what's my short list? Okay, I got an oak. I have a flower like a, a leaf like that. Just stop. Okay. And in the winter, they tend to hang on to some brown leaves. When we teach it in the winter, there's always leaves around. Now, some are still clinging, not a lot, but like you know five percent maybe. And you can always find a leaf. All right, uh, and it's not really well, like a willow. I hope you can, you can see why I'm not native. Yeah. It's not native. Is That's it a red oak or a white oak? Interesting question. Is it a red oak or is it in that which group? Is it in? Okay. Yeah, it has one place where it can have a point, and it's got a little bristle tip, a little hair, and a point, right? So it's in the red oak group. It's like a one-lobe leaf. Literally, that's it, a lobe. <laughs> that's all. After you get all the oaks today, you're going to see, there's nothing to really compare it with right now, but these are very tiny buds for an oak. These are, they're going to be the smallest buds you get. Very slender twig. This is probably, uh, I'll show you in a minute, there's not any on the ground here. But this is one of the few times I use the word cute to describe a plant feature. It has a cute little acorn, literally the size of a sweet pea. It's that little, and we'll show them to you in a little bit. Uh, so everything is very tiny on this, other than it becomes a giant tree. So that is a cool thing to go into like an elementary school. With. Like this little acorn turns into the mighty oak. It's the, like the smallest oak acorn. That you're, it is the smallest you're going to get. Uh, another thing about it is its form, and it's not so much its overall shape, but you see if you were to climb this tree like you threw your frisbee up there, if you were having to climb that, it'd be grabbing at your hat, it'd be poking in the eye. There's a whole lot of dead sticks and twigs. You see them all? And there's so many. We call those pin branches. And pin oak, which we're going to do next, um, is named because of all these pin branches. Willow oak is named because of this. But it's very similar in holding a lot of dead, I don't want to call them twigs, they're even small branches. Not, not big, but some are, you know, 20 inches long. But it, it's very snarly. It's not open to climb up. It would be tough to get up there without getting poked. Uh, so that's something that even you can look for a little bit. So, in short, right, alternate, Clustered buds. I have an oak. I have an oak. Maybe even see an oak. I got an oak. That leaf. That's probably what you want to use. <laughs> okay, because that'll even be there in the winter. You can learn all the other stuff too. Small and little acorn and all those things. But that'll probably do it for you. Okay. So that's the willow oak.